Death is about the last thing on the mind of most high school seniors, yet a small group of local students has been focused on the subject for months. As Michelle Edmonds explains, there's a twist on the tough topic that's changing their lives. Some local broadcasting students are asking a profound question. If you had a limited time to live, what would you do? It's the basis for their documentary that will be released this week, and we have a sneak peek in tonight's Making the Grade. India, Asia. This movie trailer looks like a high-end production company spent some big bucks to produce it. Not so much. They're in harmonizing keys, so we can run this one under it. A 30-minute film on the meaning of life was created in a classroom by a small group of Eagle High students. So much pressure. <laughs> Treasure Valley Hospice brought the idea to broadcasting teacher Andy Favor. I think people fight death so hard that they lose their vision on really what's important. The goal? To get people talking, not about dying, but instead about living. I didn't want it to be sad either. I wanted it fresh and new. None of us have really thought about death or not like just the concept. It's it's kind of abstract and it's not something people like to think about. But phrase an interview question about how best to live and suddenly people started pouring out their hopes and dreams. I would like to think that in my last days I would give thanks to the people around me. When you um, interview these people and you hear their story and you hear um, what's important um, when they're facing, um, you know, life and death decisions, you can't help but be touched by those people. And um, I think all these kids were touched by this experience. The students say this documentary gave them a whole new perspective on their own future. Our first interview was Phyllis, a 102 year old woman who resides in Napa, Idaho. I was born in at Water, Minnesota, 1915. I remember like five years of my life maybe, and she had this breadth of experience from living across the country, and I was, it, it just blew my mind. The filmmakers also realized everyone's journey in both living and dying is truly unique, but sitting in that same teal chair. Aiden's our big guy, he carries, <laughs> he carries the teal chair around. Each person they interviewed circled back to the same thought. I think the biggest takeaway from everybody is like relationships with other people and not as much what you do in life, but who you're with. A lesson learned by these graduating seniors who tackled a major project together and built lifelong relationships because of it. The Teal Chair documentary debuts this Thursday night at the Jump Building downtown. They're expecting about 500 people to attend. There are still a few tickets left. You can get them at treasurevalleyhospice.com. Then just click on the Teal Chair.